Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more luck be a landlord. Let's hop on in. Uh, we have actually been doing uh, a lot of weird runs <laughs> recently. Um, and I say weird, it's it's in a good way, right? They're they're weird, but they're very very fun uh, in the way that the runs are are going and have been working. And I want to continue to kind of get... I actually, dude, I really don't want Shiny Pebble. I don't know why I took that. Because um, I don't really want rares all of a sudden on this run. Let me take the coconut half. Uh, and I'll take Pizza the Cat here early. But I, I do want to start... You know, we've, we've kind of been in a... Uh, we've been in a position where... We've been trying to make certain metas work in the game and it's it's super fun to do right uh trying to get a witch meta trying to get a uh, a wolf meta things like that um it's fun but in reality that's not really how the game should be played right um at least at least maybe that's not how the game should be played let us take the safe here and then um i mean i don't know maybe we get the wolf meta to actually work all of a sudden you know th this is a run that doesn't really have any direction right now so we can kind of just force this one uh, to go in whatever direction we want it to here in a little bit. You know, we got the safe open. We're sitting totally fine on our uh, stuff. I think this is probably my first skip here. Beautiful uh, dwarf drink. Uh, and it's just kind of like this This is a, a vibe run right now. No clear directions. We're just seeing where it takes us. Well, we'll take the item capsule. You get grave robber. They, they really apparently wanted us to get grave robber here. So maybe you go for like, uh, you guys also explained to me the reroll tokens, how they work. Um, so I, if I rerolled, I would get three uh, uncommons here. Problem being, I don't really like any of these in the current state. I also think that just a pool ball is probably a little, I probably should have taken egg carton, but it, it's, it's fine to be honest with you. Uh, dwarf's still drinking as long as we continue to feed our dwarf. Um, we're, we're just going to be fine on money, at least to make rent, right? You know, we're not going to be perfect forever, but we'll be, we'll be in a position where we can make some stuff work. Uh, we are going to need something a little, oh, actually we are totally fine. We are totally fine. We, we will make rent, um, not handily. I mean, we made it by 17, <laughs> so definitely not handily, but, uh, it works. So Protractor, it's a game winning item, right? Uh, so every four spins, corners are adjacent to all. Um, it did get nerfed from the previous update of the game. Uh, so, you know, it, whatever. But it's still, like, stupid good. So we happily take it. Uh, it will do some good things for us. We just, we need to add a little bit more to this deck right now. Um, in fact, I think I go for, like, you know, give me the cultist, I guess. I, I kind of wanted to do a, a big cultist run here and uh so far <laughs> the cultist run is is looking like it's actually probably gonna result in a failure you know we're looking i mean another cultist here oh, and we didn't spin him that is extremely unfortunate um you have to take the buffing capsule and we will actually lose on this one unfortunately uh, just, just wasn't enough going on on that run. Um, and the direction, I mean, the direction wasn't super clear. Uh, and to be fair, we kind of said the direction was not super clear. Um, so I'm taking, I'm taking diver exclusive things right now. And seeing where life takes us with this. Uh, it's not necessarily, I'm going to tell you, this is not necessarily a good way to play. Uh, you never want to just like predict a build and dig into it. You want to instead, um, kind of go and, uh, Go, go in and work with what the game gives you and then move from there, right? But I am digging into this this entirely diver driven build and I think that I think that if we get the diver it's going to be so uh, so so exciting that everybody's gonna get uh, crazy crazy happy about it. I'm gonna take the cultist. I, I do there's a part of me that kind of wants to get like a wacky cultist run working. I'll take uh, lockpick. Lock lockpick is one of those items where uh, insanely good for the early game, right? Let's take a coal. Coal helps out here and there. Not not an amazing you know item. I'll take the ruby for now. Not an amazing item. Um, 
for for kind of late game, but I mean, it's it's kind of you know it, it it's worth it to just take it. I think you know any any time we're given some some uncommons and some rares here early, I kind of don't see any reason but to just take them, right? Uh, because we can just get rid of them if they don't fit the build in the future. So tough one, genuinely tough one. I'm gonna take the hooligan, uh, and then we're going to obviously take black cat. Uh, which is just Pizza the Cat, but better. <laughs> so that's good. I'll take the Oyster, and this is where things start to get a little, little funky. They get a little funky, because the Oyster can really ruin your run. It can really ruin your run. Um, so let, let's... Now we're basically in the camp of how quickly can we dump a Diver into this deck. Um, we need it pretty much as soon as possible. We'll take the Coconut half. I'm now kind of in a, like, we're, we're just filling the deck with stuff so that when these pearls come in, uh, we have uncommons to, to help kind of make it a, a little bit nicer. So we will take the very rare chest. Um, I mean, we, we have we have the means for that being worth it for us. Uh, I'll take the orange. I'll take another peach. And I'll take the egg. We have egg carton, so that, that's all very fine. That chest opened, we have an 103 pick, and, and now we're, we're basically just completely fine for right now. We're, we're looking for a slew of items. Diver, Ms. Fruit, right? Or even, I mean, if you want to go weirder, give me a chef, right? And a beast master. You know, th those are also um, completely fine for the build that we're doing. I will also take another cat, just because we, we have black cat. So cats are worth double. Um, the urn goes directly into our, our boy hooligan, which just creates spirits, which then do do even more for us. So that that's completely fine too. Uh, I think this is a reroll, and then I'll take the lucky, and we'll get some more reels going. I'll take rusty gear just because rusty gear is one of those items. Um, uh, it's it's just useful to have, I think. And I'll take the tomb. And the hooligan may destroy it. He will, actually. Um, and I think that that's fine. We now have a bunch of flames in the deck. The flames are going to do decent stuff. I mean, they're going to do double here. That, that's very spicy. That's rusty gear uh, providing us with a chunk of value. And as long as as long as long that's uh, doing good stuff, we're, we're pleased. I'll take the big urn. The hooligan just has... He's got that certain attraction right now. To, uh, to to getting these flames out in the open, so don't don't let me be the one to uh, make him upset. I'll I'll let him vibe. I'll get all the good stuff from him. We're up a hundred. That is completely fine. That is completely fine. I'm gonna do a, a thingy, and dude, I kind of want to go King Midas. Right? I kind of want to go King Midas. We have rusty gear. I've never made a King Midas deck work. Let, let's do it. Let, let's see if maybe we can make uh, a King Midas deck work, fill the entire board with coins, and get crazy. But we, we have to do something if we're going to do this, right? We have to do something. I got to remove this freaking oyster. Because we can't have... If King Midas is going to be adding coins, I can't then have uh, this sucker also coming in and there's a frick load of uh, other crap around right i took the dame as well and i understand that that's maybe uh maybe a bad play but i'm okay with it for right now the the benefit here is you've got rusty gear right i'm also going to come in the cultist has to go um and the flower has to go and i'll, I'll chill there i mean the turtle also maybe has to go but the, the diver is still useful right if the diver appears, we we absolutely take it. We will still take tomb as well, um, and it, it did make a flame there. Now hooligan touches tomb, and we're we're in fine shape. I'll take the lockbox. This is a weird deck. This is a weird deck, but I'm. I think we are fine, for one. Yeah, we're up. We're up sixty-ish. We're fine for right now. Um, there's Ms. Fruit. You take her and you run. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then we'll take Barrel of Dwarves, but I'm obviously not popping it. Um, it could be means for doing some funky stuff in the future. Obviously, Ms. Fruit is, is a very, very valuable addition to this run. Because she's going to crank out some of those uh, nasty, 
nasty fruits in the deck. I also think I, I skipped the uh, all baby. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Because now you're getting the flames in, you're getting more coins in. Take another peach from his fruit. This is great. And the coins are getting doubled. Now you just get the item that is uh, coins give triple, right? And all of a sudden we have we have a run. All of a sudden we have a run. It's it's kind of working. It's kind of working. You love to see this, dude. You love to see it. King Midas. He's coming in. He's coming in. We have not done this build ever. Um, and I I just love I love making weird builds work. It's my new favorite. It's my new favorite uh, pastime. Is getting weird builds to work. Um, and so far this one's working. Can it win? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know if this one can win. Um, he he's one of those items where it's it's just a little you don't know, right? You just don't know whether or not you can actually make uh, a King Midas build work. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, it's unfortunate we didn't get a diver there. That was, that was kind of like one of the main things that we did need. Now the flames are out. There's gonna be a lot of coins. There's going to be a lot of coins here shortly. Once we have the coins, see this right here, you know, each of them giving two is good. How about take the removal? That's fine. King Midas doing some, some triplification. I mean, 62 round, this is probably good enough to make it into, uh, to make it into endless. I think, I think, and that, that, that's really all we care about, right? We just care about getting the win. We don't, we don't care about going uh endless forever we just care about getting in enough to get things going so 575 doing three spins it's a little tight honestly it's a little tight um i'm i'm pleasantly worried pleasantly worried dude we are it's gonna be tight <laughs> it's gonna be very tight we need we need a 35 round we we will do fine. A 35 round is totally doable here. Oh, it was it was it was tighter than we wanted though. It was tighter than we wanted. Okay. Which is not the answer. I'll take martini. Um and I'll take horseshoe for the permanence. We take the martini because Dame is in our deck. Um she'll she'll eat the martini eventually, hopefully. If she doesn't, then we become very sad very quickly. Uh, we're also going to do a fun thing called Hooligans Gotta Go. And then I think at this point, Goldfish Gotta Go, Turtles Gotta Go. <laughs> Goodbye to those. Um, I think maybe we have to kill a couple coins out of the deck too. And I, I, I actually think that we're dead. I think we're dead. Um, I'm not sure this is good enough. I don't know. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. We're, we're gonna we're gonna ride it out. This is a horrible round. Forty-eight. I mean, it's it's not horrible, but it's it feels horrible, right? Dude, I mean, what are the odds that King Midas doesn't get surrounded by friggin' anything? Okay, I I gotta make I gotta take matters into my own hands. I'm removing pearls. We have to basically try to force King Midas to appear, and then just buff this crap. Like, he, he keeps on spawning in the freaking corner. We, we can't do anything with it, right? I mean, we, we will not succeed here. Um, we, we will lose. And it's unfortunate because this was a build that... Oh, I just accidentally completely closed the game. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm reloading it. Um, that was a build that I, I actually think had way more legs than, uh, than it probably ever should have. We're back. Okay, so add it to the list, right? Uh, King Midas is a build that I would love to try to make work at some point. I don't know when that point will be, uh, but I would love to make it work. I also, I, I have a, a desire to get a, a freak cultist run to work to, where we have like eight of them. <laughs> I think that would be uh, insanely enjoyable to do that. So we brought the Hex of Destruction in. Um, my, my reasoning behind doing it is to get the, the urn. So that kind of went fine. 
Uh, we'll also now get it to get the pinata, maybe? Um, what what value does that provide for me? This is a good question. I don't know. You killed my flame? I mean, that, that's actually really terrible. Um, as soon as I can remove, I think I'm getting that, that Hex of Destruction out of my deck now. Which makes me look a little stupid, but that's fine. We'll take the wolf. Um, which, I mean, maybe we can get a, a Quigley build. You know, couple moons, couple wolves. We get another cultist. Oh, you are a complete coward. This is why I wanted to get rid of him, dude. This is why I wanted to get rid of him. Um, I, I really desperately wanted... I mean, we would have four cultists right now. It's so sad. You're, you're thinning my deck of other stuff, which is great. But I, I need you to not kill off my cultists. They're doing very, very good stuff. Um, so there we can finally go in and we can remove some stuff. I'll take the bronze arrow. Um, I'll take green pepper. And then I got to get rid of this hex of destruction. We also have this pinata in our deck. Um, what value does the pinata bring us? Very, very little. Um, I'll add a toddler at some point just so just so we can crack it, right? But I'm really not looking forward to having the pinata um, fill our deck with complete trash for a little bit. You know, I took it because we had the Hex of Destruction doing some whack stuff. There's our toddler. Um, he'll, he'll crack it eventually. And when he does, things will be just fine. They'll be just fine. I skip again. The, the owl might actually, it, it could be valuable if we get a moon build working. Now, the problem is, I say if we get a moon build working, that does require us getting a freaking moon, right? Which is, that's not easy at all. Um, it's a rare item, and there's a lot of rare items, and the chance of that rare item being the rare item we want is, I mean, you're just talking about a, a close to impossibility. So I can't really force that to occur. It would just be cool if it did. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hexatidium also could have been a, a, a solution for us there. Uh, you know, we, we, we basically lower our chances of things being rare showing up, which you might be like, you know, how are you going to get the, uh, how are you going to get the good guy? The, uh, one, the diver, right? Since we have this stupid sucker floating around right now. Uh, hi. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's a big round. That's a big round. You love to see that, actually. You absolutely love to see that. Let's re-roll. Uh, re-roll again. Frick. Uh, I'm going to skip, actually. I'll take Rusty Gear. At least, you know, the pearls are going to do a little bit better for us because of the Rusty Gear now. Which, which it actually... I mean, look, we, we have a pseudo-pearl build all of a sudden. There's another cultist. And, and I... Believe it or not, this is a build that is going very weird, but it actually works like a disturbing amount. I mean, pearls are giving us four apiece at times. Obviously, that that's due to the uh, the chaos of of rusty gear. That's another you know situation where rusty gear comes in, you know, huge handy. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. I like it. I like it. This is once again, it's a weird build, and we we enjoy weird builds here you know 41 a turn we're ahead by 300 that is more than enough to make our life good i literally rerolled into basically the same crap dude i don't want the witch i'm sorry but i don't um i think i would rather just go like grave robber here you know we get a couple urns life is uh fine item capsule Tax evasion, huh? Okay, I mean, it just means we won't take any thieves. There's another wolf, finally. You know, they are common. We would like to get more wolves in this deck. Um, I think you take the big urn here, since it has a 50% chance to crack. Um, you know, theoretically should have cracked right there. I mean, we're now at a 25% chance that this has gone the way that it has. Um, okay, we're at 12.5% chance that this urn has not cracked. Starting to get a little bit absurd. Hey, okay, I don't have to calculate what 12 and a half divided by 2 is. Haha, <laughs> it's, uh, 6.25. Okay, uh, do I care about any of these? I don't. I don't. Sorry, chef, but you're, you're not actually that valuable for me. So we'll just let you uh, continue to vibe. We're still up 350. 
which is great. And I still have a key, so I'll take the treasure chest. Um, and I actually really like the idea of Zeroth's contract here. Because we could take a bounty hunter and then, like, destroy everybody in our deck. But obviously that also... Like, the cultists are a big part of what we're doing. Unless we eventually thin down and we have wolves, right? You know, we now have three of them. Um... A moon does a lot. It does a lot. I, I cannot deny. A moon does a lot. And I think that we are we're approaching where we would want to like remove the oyster because maybe maybe the diver just isn't coming. <laughs> maybe he missed the memo. Um and he's just not gonna show up. And and I, I respect it if that's the case. Because sometimes the diver don't appear. That's just, that's just the nature of the situation. Give me the wealthy, just for the extra 10 here. Now we have the lucky. This is where we get the diver, and we can re-roll till we get him. Come on, come on. Show me the money. Show me the money. Those are not the money. I re-roll. Zaraf is also not the money. Zaraf is still not the money. And Chef is still not the money. That is, that is just, it's just freaking horrible. It's just freaking horrible. Give me, give me the shrine. We get a small buff. Um, we still were up 300, right? So it's not like things are going terrible. Uh, they're still going just fine on this one. But I'll be damned if I don't want to make something something happen on this run. Like, things are just, they're a little spicy. So I'm going to remove the toddler. Um, I'm also going to remove the singular coin because I think that those are, are just not helping us. Um, and I don't know how many empties we have right now. We, we can double check that momentarily. We have no empties. There's a little bit of a bug where when you remove, it creates an empty. Um, so let, let's see. We got 4, 5, 6, 7, 19, 20, 24. So we got 26 things out right now. That's interesting. I'm actually going to kill the cat. That's right. I did it. Uh, and I'm also going to kill the plum. So, so now everything we spin is our board, right? Like we, we, we shouldn't have any, we have no empties and everything that we own. No, oh, that's also not true. What the board is, is 20. Is it not four times five? What, what do you got here? We got an extra pearl now. Is that what's going on? 14, 18. Oh, wait a minute. I've got 25 things in the deck. I see. I see. Okay, just just chill. This is a little this is a little spicy though because the it, the deck is it's it's not going to survive very long if we continue with the the you know build that we have which is basically just like let rusty gear do its thing. Um I need dude, I freaking I, I need something. I need something. You ain't giving me the something right now. Take fish tank. It's fine. Here's a lucky incoming. You're, you're just you're just a coward. That's that's all I'm gonna say. You're just a coward. Um, can we have pearls carry us to the finish line? I I just don't think we can, right? I I think that we we can maybe get there, but this is such a stupid build. I mean that sincerely. It's it's a very very dumb build. Um, there's just nothing there's nothing redeeming about this. It's just basically hope for- Oh, that got doubled though. 104. That's that's good. That's good. Another cultist. Uh, we have so many pearls in the deck. Uh, just like one diver does such a disturbing amount. This guy's going to be worth a lot. Yeah, he's worth 20. That was a 93 round. I suppose we are actually like totally fine right now, but we did get a couple of very lucky um, scenarios. So basically our entire board is pearls. Uh, we will take a silver arrow. I will also take Booster Pack, and Booster Pack got better um, as well. I skipped a freaking uh, we have lock pick. We do not. I skipped a uh, a permanent one. I apologize. That is my bad. I'll take a removal. I'll take a buffing. I'll skip. So this is guaranteed rares. I'm gonna re-roll. Archaeologist will work just fine. He will work just fine. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to all of the pearls. Um, this is going to get disturbing. This is going to get disturbing really quickly. But I promise you it, it is a good thing. Our deck is about to get disturbingly thin. Very, very thin. 
but in the process we're adding more cultists which makes this weird right because it's it's gonna it's gonna be pretty busted like this is pretty busted i mean we win for the right in case that was not uh made clear to you we do win automatically uh the guys were 36 these arrows are what's really gonna carry us man no, the, the arrows just provide us with uh, so much benefit. Another oyster in the deck, obviously, is also um, completely fine, because then it just feeds our archaeologist. But I would love to know... I mean, uh, there's another oyster. I would love to check momentarily. This is also great. What we're looking like in terms of how many items are actually in this deck. Um, because, oh my god, dude. Look at this right here. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, 248 round. Obviously, we also had the uh, Chemical 7 pop. But, um, yeah. I mean, this is this is what I was looking for, right? This is what I was looking for, was, was something stupid like this. We have basically already made rent as well. Do you think we could transition this to a King Midas deck? It, it's such a stupid idea. Um, no. I'll reroll. Love you. You gave me the moon. Okay. Then you conveyor belt. And and here's basically how this goes now, right? Um, oysters now have a 40% chance to add pearls. Archaeologist eats the pearls. But in the meantime, we also have moons buffing all of these dogs, which then makes those disturbingly strong, while you also have the cultists in the background. It, I mean, it's just, it's just like, it's textbook. Th this is how you want to build a run. This is just how you want to build a run. Um, did we did we jump through some hoops to get here? Yeah. Yeah, we jumped through some hoops. We, we did some crazy stuff. But uh, in the end, sometimes sometimes that's what you have to do. Why did I take the big urn? We, we don't really need the big urn. You know, we, we appreciate having it, but we don't need the big urn. Those, those, uh, those flames don't do anything for me. I, I took them anyway. I took another big urn, right? But they, they don't do anything for us. It's fine. It's really very fine. Uh, and when... Look, if we ever reach a point where we don't want these cultists in the deck anymore. And we, we want just, like, moons. I mean, this is tough, right? I, I mean, I guess I'll take the cultist. I mean, this, this is seven cultists in the deck. You can knock this, right? Like, it's still very good. Um... But we could always throw a, a bounty hunter into the deck and, and he just destroys all of the people. All right, we could do it right now. We could have only wolves and moons. You know, we, we, we basically, yeah, I mean, we, we could, we could. I think that that's probably not the best play. I don't know, I don't know what the best play, I mean, I suppose, oh, I did not mean, I already follow Trampoline Tales on Twitter. Don't, don't, don't make me follow him again. I'll make I'll make alt accounts and follow him again. You think I won't? Okay. Uh, this is a skip, sadly. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it's it's GG. So in case you don't know what we just got, um, clear sky, moon affects non-adjacent symbols. Uh, it's just busted. It's just busted because now the moon affects every single one of these wolves. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna tell you, we are going to take a bounty hunter and i'm going to transition to a a solely wolf deck i'm gonna take another cultist in the process though uh because this is actually like starting to get starting to get disturbing but we we could get one of those like um uber endless right Th those crazy ones that you see where it's the max amount that you can get um you just basically get more moons fill the entire thing with uh wolves and, and life is good this diamond means very little to me. I, I know that, you know, it's a diamond. I should be happy, but it means absolutely nothing to me. Look at the cultists. 16 apiece on the cultists. He's very, very good. Very good. So next on my removal list is going to be um, the bronze arrow. I do not care about the bronze arrow. The silver arrow is still doing fine stuff. I also think that it's it's probably time to say goodbye to the oysters. We're gonna let the archaeologists finish up uh, these other oysters, but then I I just have no interest in him doing anything else for me. Uh, he can sit, he can produce 27 a turn. I won't complain about that in the slide. 29 a turn, 
I won't complain about that, but I, I don't need any more from the archaeologist. This is a build that is solely cultists and wolves and this moon. No, and eventually we, we, we might remove the archaeologist. So I, I'm just preparing you for that. If you are invested in the archaeologist being in this deck, giving us 30 a turn, I care more about another wolf or another cultist. We're up 2,400, right? It just, it doesn't really matter. So unfortunate, but not what we need. Uh, swapping device is gross. So now, I mean, look, you can do things like this. Oh, I can't swap to that. You can do things like this. So swapping device, I, I got a comment uh, the other day and I really liked it. They said, if I was a YouTuber and I was playing this game, uh, I would never take swapping device. Even, even when it was uh, best fit to be an item that I could take, I would never take it because the pain of reading the comments from the people saying that, oh, he swapped wrong, uh, would be too much to handle. And that is that is actually just the, the honest to goodness goddamn truth. Um, you guys love when I swap wrong. And by love, I mean hate. Um, and it's, it makes me happy every single time. So this deck is now actually in, in the really weird spot where we have empty spots, right? We legitimately have empty spots. I also have been skipping some dogs. I just realized that um, we, we want the dogs because they turn into wolves. You know, and in the end, it's all, it's all commons, dude. Like, this is all commons that we're dealing with. And we just need them all to, uh, to pop. We need them all to pop. And they're basically, they're, they're borderline just giving us the same value, too. Which, which is even funnier, right? It's basically the same value. So we, we got 10 cultists in the deck. So they're all giving us, you know, a bunch. We take another wolf, obviously. I'm just going to basically run this as whichever one fills up the board first is the one that we continue to rock, right? If it if it ends up being, I, I should have taken the damn goldfish. You, 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 here's the problem, right? You're pissed off at me for not taking the goldfish. But I'm sitting here, I'm getting 315 a turn, and you're concerned about the, the one that I'm getting right there. It just, just... Like, go outside for a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. I know. The bad the bad man said he doesn't care about one gold. I know. I know. Alright. Um, sure. Gives five of three or more of the same symbol are adjacent. Uh, it'll always give five <laughs> for the rest of our life. Uh, it's, it's just that easy. So are those all adjacent, technically? I don't know how that works, because adjacency in this game is diagonal, so I feel like that that might be all adjacent in the end. Dude, I just don't even care to swap. We, we might not even swap anymore. I understand we could get like a little bit more gold, but the, the 315, it's good enough, right? We could also, I mean, we could take the pearl. I'm, I'm looking for, for three things on this run. More wolves, more cultists, uh, more... Sure, a buffing capsule is fine. More wolves, more cultists, more arrows. That's all I'm looking for. You give me that more moons. Sorry. <laughs> more moons is actually disgusting. That, that's how the build actually continues to pop. Um, we get more moons. That that breaks everything. That breaks everything. Um, I am considering that it might be time to, to throw the bounty hunter into the deck. And see if we can let the wolves... I mean, we're now in a position... We have enough wolves, right? That we can... Uh, we can do just wolf meta. We're, we're so ahead on money that we can afford to do just wolf meta and, and chill. Um, so, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to take Zeroth. Zeroth or a bounty hunter. Why, why move that? <laughs> Offers no value. A Zeroth or a Bounty Hunter, I'm more than happy. We have Zeroth's contract, so the Bounty Hunter is is basically Zeroth. Um, and we just, we have enough wolves that it's fine. It's completely fine. You know, one moon, an extra moon and Zeroth, and we make as much money, if not more, than we, we have been. So it, it's really not, it's not too big of a deal. We'll at least get that cultist adjacent. It's just the wolves are starting to take over the cultists, and the wolves are better. I'm sorry, they are. Um, 
I mean, they kind of are. They're actually really not, I don't think. But with the moon, they definitely are. You know, on their own, I think cultists are better. But uh, when you throw the moon in there, the, the 18 a turn, you, you really can't beat. We're up 6,000, just so you know. There's Zeroth. I mean, just take him. Right? Just just take him. That's fine. Uh, then we'll take Pool Ball. Let, let's let the man feed. This is going to be disgusting. So down he goes. This is also going to spawn uh, flames. I forgot about that. Um, that's fine. That's fine. The, the flames, look, they're they're here for a, a good time, not a long time. <laughs> so just, just let them do their thing. Um, and Zaraf, we're just going to slip in so he can kill as many people as possible. It's, it's flames and wolves, and eventually it's just going to be wolves. Here's the wild part about this run, right? We didn't even really do that much removal. Um, I know that you're, you're looking at this and you're going, wow, busted run. Um, crazy how the, the new update works. We, we didn't do that much with the removal tokens. The rerolls we used, but we've got seven removal tokens just sitting here. Um, they're, they're not, they're not too crazy for us. So question. He destroys bounty hunters. Just, just add them in. What could go wrong, right? Let's, oh, except I just realized the issue. They, they killed each other. <laughs> oh, except Zaroff came back from the dead to kill that guy. Okay, we'll probably just remove the cultist um, by hand right now. 162 from that position is wild. Okay, so let, let's remove this cultist. We have three empties in the deck or two empties. I, uh, maybe no empties. How many empties do we... Oh my god. Okay, now we're going to have a, a frick load of empties because now all we have is wolves. Right? A after these flames burn out, all we have is wolves. Which is kind of crazy. Like, we, we will have empties now, yeah. Okay. It's, it's kind of weird, right? It's very jarring to look at. Um, that the deck has basically just become, uh... Become three symbols. That's all we have, is three symbols to our name. Four symbols, but... All of a sudden, right after right after this is complete... Is three symbols. Is two arrows, a moon, and like ten wolves. It's very satisfying. It's very satisfying. For some reason, I, I just freaking love it. I just freaking love it. Um, even though it's it's weird as hell. It's weird as hell. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm happy we got to do this. You know, I always talk about it. I want the weird builds. I want the weird builds. Guess what? This is, this is the weird build. This is the weird build. It's, is wolves. Wolves and cultists. That's the name of the episode. Wolves and cultists. Uh, or if I continue doing this for an even longer period of time, which I'm going to be honest with you, I, 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 I kind of want to see one more moon show up. But in reality, I, I should just move on with my freaking day, right? Like, th this one, it, it's not endless, but it's... Is pretty damn close, right? It's pretty damn close. There's another moon. Okay. Uh, comfy pillow. Now, now you're speaking my language. Now you're speaking my language. So this is this is a, a ten times multiplier. I'm pretty sure. If I know how the moons work, um, which means that this wolf is going to be worth a disturbing amount. Yeah, 162. So now we're getting like 665 uh, a turn more or less and, and i mean and that's depending on these arrows and if you put the arrows in the middle right that's premier position if this arrow hits this guy now now we're gonna have some some oh my god okay yeah you're gonna see some big number here yeah a little 486 on that one a little 486 that's good stuff let's get that arrow up there you know ideally maximizing your points you you want to have all of your wolves touching so that you get the maximum rusty gear bonus. Uh, and then you want both arrows hitting the same thing. The chance of that happening, is it's low, right? It's a little low. We can force it to occur at times, right? Like, I mean, right here, the, technically, I think those are all adjacent. Um, and then we just need this arrow. I mean, these three are now what you're looking at. Ideally, you wanted this one to point in either one of these directions, but yeah, that no, was no, no, still fine. Still very fine. The, the wolf or the uh, owl is another one that, 
Like, it exists in this build, for sure. It's another thing that can be hit by the moon, so you could, you could throw some owls in here. But why would you? Why would you, when instead you could just have, like, this? Which, and I understand, right? There's gonna be people that are like, oh, Dangerously Funny got, uh the entire board filled with wolves and, and 15 moons and he got six trillion on a spin i don't care right i don't care um i don't care to bring this that far in the endless you're, you're looking at how it can work i don't i don't care enough to see it go that endless but i think that this this is proof enough that this will go endless after a while um you know it, it's not it's not foolproof for right now. I should have taken the reroll token, actually. Because that, that's how we're getting our moons right now. Is just by, by popping rerolls. But um, it's not foolproof. You know, eventually, if, if we don't get moons, then we will die down. Um, but it's it's pretty damn close to, to being foolproof. Um, I mean, 3,000 is due. I've got 13k after this spin, probably. Uh, which is, I mean, it's more than enough. It's more than enough to keep us afloat for a long time. If you want to do the math on that, I'm not doing the math on that. Um, that's, that's math beyond my, uh, understanding. So we'll guarantee the rare here. And we'll skip. I'll take another silver arrow. I'll take a very big symbol bomb. And I expect that I will want nothing from this, um... We are looking for one singular thing, and that is a moon. A lucky is fine. A lucky is fine. Okay. The luckies are fine. They they, they do stuff. You know, we'll, we'll guarantee us getting a little bit extra lucky stuff. We can re-roll, try to get more moons. Another moon just continues to break it even more. So that, that's all we need. All we need is a little moon action. I mean, it's right there. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Okay. Let's bring this guy here. So now you got three moons. But let's hit this guy on the on the diagonal coming down. Unfortunate. You know we're going to get that mega spin. And when we do, oh, it's going to be nice. These spins are also now taking a very long time. But they're all... Okay, it's 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 getting out of hand. <laughs> they're, they're all giving over 100 now. Um, that, that's getting out of hand. We, we don't need to... Come on. Point point to the left. Point to... Oh! They watch this guy right here. Watch this guy right here. A little, little 486. You like it? You like it? You love it? You want more of it? Let's... Uh, honestly, let, let's, let's bring like this one right here. And then you're looking straight down. Left, left, right. And you hit the diagonal. How about a left right here? A little left right here down and down i mean they all went bottom left that that's wacky that's wacky i think this is probably going to be our our last uh rent just so you know because i, I don't care to bring this one endless i know that you want me to i know you do um i, I just don't care to i i had my fun I, I i felt my game break it's a 45 minute video you'll you'll be happy with it i'm 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 pleased if i'm pleased then you're pleased enough <laughs> Somebody will still find a way to be mad at me for this, but I I am happy with myself. I think at this point, actually, this, this is probably endless, too. I mean, nothing's ever endless, but we're, we're talking, like, play for another three hours before we even think about losing. Um, and at that point, I, I don't even really think... It, it might be... It, it could be days until we could possibly lose. Um... It's just a little too strong. Another wolf? I mean, it's one of those things I didn't really consider that, that we could add more wolves. But with every wolf we add, it's basically just adding another almost 200 to your, your gold amount each time. You know, you clearly don't want all of the wolves all of the time um, if you have other moons and stuff. But, I mean, that was 2,700. I'll throw another wolf in. It's, it's kind of funky, right? We, we still have some holes, even though I think we have enough to fill the board. So I don't know, I don't know how we generated empties that I, I didn't want, but we, we did in fact do that. Come on, you want to hit on the diagonal, please? Diagonal top left. 
Straight up. I mean, look, two of them got buffed. The 486 is, is still spicy. Here, I'll take a dog just for just for the good memes, because the, the dog turns into the wolf. <laughs> why why bother? Uh cause cause it's funny times. Another sip of water. It's a good run, dude. It's a very, very good run. I am happy. Happy boy. Happy birth boy. I'm hungry, dude. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm gonna go slam some dinner after this, me thinks. I will skip my spin. Um, I will pay, and then you're gonna give me a moon. You're gonna give me a moon. You're gonna give me a moon. You're gonna give me a moon? How about a moon? Oh, you gave me a moon. Oh, baby. Okay. Um, sure. I'll take the lucky carrot. I mean, now I, like, have to do one more spin, because now I got- now I got more moons. And- and things are gonna get- Things are gonna get real spicy real freaking quick, dude. They're gonna be real freaking spicy. One- one singular more rent payment. And then we're done. Unless we get a moon. And then, of course, I will go one more. But... We used all of our rerolls now, so now it's- now it's- it's not great. I need all four moons to show up. This is- you're- you're about to see. This is the new moon record, and then all three of the arrows point towards this wolf right here. And you're you're gonna watch things implode. You're gonna watch them implode. Okay, that is not where I needed that arrow to point. In fact, like, please actually point at one of them. Okay, if two of them got pointed at, that's fine. As long as two of them got pointed at, we're, we're chilling. So you ready for this number? I'm predicting around 10,000. Overall. 10, 7,300? We'll take a buffing capsule. That there's only there's only positives that can occur with this. Um, let's throw it down right, right here. Hits five of them, and then we just need one of these arrows to hit one of them. Come on, you, you gotta, you gotta work with me. This arrow's gotta hit either on the left. Oh, <laughs> you freaking son of a gun. Okay, how about you go to the left or diagonal? Left or diagonal? You just can't win. You just can't win. Game's rigged. Game's freaking rigged. That's a 10,000 round. Um, are you, are you seeing what I'm saying, right? I mean, there's just like no chance that we, we could ever lose anytime soon. Especially if you continue to give me uh, moons at the rate that we're getting them, which is like, we're getting them quickly. <laughs> In case that was... No, the, even the fact that we got four moons on this run, and it didn't even take that much effort, you know, a couple rerolls for sure, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, it happened, it happened pretty easily. It happened pretty easily. I will skip. We could take like a hustling capsule, right? It doesn't really hurt us. We subtract six from our 10,000 score uh, to gain one permanent, which is just like, who gives a damn, right? It's a, it's a symbol that doesn't hurt us, but... It is, uh, it is interesting. It is interesting. I mean, we could add, like, a, an oyster to this, and it's not gonna hurt us, right? We can take a lucky as well. I mean, imagine if the lucky gave us another moon. <laughs> At that point, it'd just be funny. It's crazy, though. Like, we, we have two openings, but we know we have four moons. Why, why, why are you giving me more openings? We don't, we don't want the openings. We don't want the openings. Oh, my God. If only we had the other two moons, dude. This guy would have been... He would have been through the roof. I'll take another silver arrow. There, there's still... I mean, there's there's potential for the silver arrows to do a lot. But I also am going to tell you, I think that there's also reason to just completely remove them. Um, and only rock... You know, ensure that the moons get in, right? But... It, in the end... You know, it doesn't, it don't really matter. We're, we're going to be above 60,000 here. Um, we could continue to work our way. Oh, we, we could hit 100,000 if we cared to. Oh, dude, this, this is going to be, this is going to be where, where your new record is. Because unless the arrows are just abysmally bad, you're going to see some crazy stuff happen. We just need two of the arrows to hit the same one. So this guy needs to go top left. This was actually, like, the second worst direction. That was also the worst direction. Okay, are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, how terrible is that? That is, that is actually unreal. This is why people don't like the arrows, man. 
They routinely point in just the worst directions. This is where you want to see a diagonal top left. I mean, it's just horrible. I understand that these arrows, these two were in crappy positions, but these didn't point to Jack Diddley squad of value either. So don't, don't give me anything. We, we hate to see that entirely. We hate to see it entirely. It's an 8,000 round. I will skip, we'll guarantee a rare. Uh, if it's a moon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. It's not a moon. It's not a moon. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was our, our game break of the day. Uh, it was a blast. Update in two days. Very exciting. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you uh, probably in the update, actually. So we'll have some new stuff to check out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.